Today at Laughing Spatula, we're making delicious fondant potatoes. These impressive but simple to make potatoes are crispy on the outside, creamy on the inside, and every year my family looks forward to having them on the Christmas dinner table. We make ours unique by adding a little bit of white wine for flavor, along with fresh chopped garlic and fresh thyme. Let's get started so we can show you how to make them. To start, peel two large russet potatoes. Now I have a small family, so two potatoes is plenty and yields about seven individual fondant potato pieces once it's done. Next, cut the ends off. After that, cut the potatoes vertically into about one and a half inch thick pieces. It's okay if they aren't all completely even. Then, liberally season each side with salt and pepper. Next, we'll melt four tablespoons of butter along with some olive oil. I like to use a cast iron skillet because it gives the potatoes a nice, even crust, but also because it's stovetop and oven friendly. This is about the level of brown you wanna see your potatoes. It's crispy, delicious potato goodness. Once your potatoes have reached this level of crispiness, you're gonna use tongs and a paper towel to soak up some of that extra oil that's in the pan. After you've soaked up most of the butter and oil in the pan, you're gonna flip your potatoes over. This next part is where flavor happens and we're gonna add some fresh chopped garlic. I use fresh, I don't like the bag, pre-peeled kind, I don't think it has as much flavor. We're gonna add a few sprigs of thyme. Again, fresh is best. And after that, we're going to add a little bit of dry white wine. I use a dry Pinot Grigio, but as long as it's dry and not sweet, any white wine should work. After that, we're going to use chicken stock. Spend a little bit extra and buy the good chicken stock. It really makes such a difference. After that, you bake your fondant potatoes for about 30 to 35 minutes in the oven at 450 degrees. They come out crisp on the top, but creamy on the inside, and they're just infused with this wonderful flavor of white wine, thyme, and garlic. They're a side dish that you really can't miss at Christmas time. Thanks for watching, and let us know what you think about this recipe in the comments below. Get the full recipe with measurements at laughingspatula.com, along with other great family-friendly meals.